Welcome to our lecture online. Now here's some interesting facts and information about the two moons of Mars, and so let's compare them side by side. But first of all, their names came from Greek mythology, and notice that Phobos is considered to be the panic and fear, and Demas is terror and dread, and they were joining their father in battle on the battlefield, the god of war. So size-wise, they are relatively small, even as asteroids goes. Size, we can see that for Phobos, the size is about 27 by 22 by 18 kilometers, as opposed to Demas, which is 15 by 12 by 11 kilometers. So they're not really spherical, they have kind of oblong shapes. The average radius is about 11.3 kilometers for Phobos and 6.2 kilometers for Demas. So uh, Phobos almost has twice the diameter or radius compared to Demas. Surface-wise, notice that the surface area is 1,548 square kilometers for Phobos and 495 for Demas. And to put that in perspective, if we were to put that into a square area, the area of Phobos would be about 40 by 40 kilometers, like a square of 40 by 40 kilometers, which is about the size of a large city, essentially 25 by 25 miles. As opposed to Demas, the size would be 22 by 22 kilometers, which is uh, about 13, 14 miles on the side. Density, surprisingly, they're relatively less dense. It's about 1.9 grams per cubic centimeter for Phobos and 1.5 grams per, cu per cubic centimeter for Demas, which means they're not all made out of rock. If they're purely made out of rock, their densities would be higher. So it's presumed that they probably are combined with some water ice. The escape velocity is kind of interesting. Notice the escape velocity to get away from Phobos is 41 kilometers per hour, and for Demas is 20 kilometers per hour, which is about 12 miles per hour. If you could jump up, high enough, you might be able to escape from the gravitational attraction. Uh, maybe not here, but for Demas, you might want to give it a try. Uh, the apparent magnitude, as seen from the Earth, is 11.8 for Phobos and 12.45 for Demas. So there's no way you can see those with the naked eye from here. You need a fairly good sized telescope. You can only see two craters visible on Demas. You can say lots and lots of craters on Phobos, but what's also really in interesting is that we've been able to trace back some of the marks on Phobos back to impacts on Mars. Roughly 12 different impacts on Mars left a series of streaks on the surface of Phobos about 100 to 200 meters wide and 20 kilometers long. In other words, a huge impact would hit Mars and then the debris that flies up would then scar Phobos, Phobos being so close to the planet that it can easily reach Phobos and would scar up the planet. Another interesting fact about Phobos is, let's say you're a typical sized person at 68 kilograms, eh, maybe a little bit less than typical, at 68 kilograms, you would have an apparent mass of 40 grams. In other words, a typical person, if you were to stand on the surface of Phobos, you would only have a weight of about two ounces. So imagine you can jump up probably hundreds of yards into the air and now slowly drift back down. If you jump up too high or too fast, it might actually escape the gravitational force of, of Phobos. Uh, quite interesting. Um, so it would be very difficult to land on one of those things because if you come down and you bounce too hard, you would just bounce right back up. So landing would have to be extremely soft or you'd bounce right off the surface and you wouldn't come back. So that gives you some very interesting um, information about those two moons. Again, they're essentially asteroids that were captured by the gravitational attraction of Mars. And that's the story for Phobos and Demas.